Hi and welcome to the first uh, speech to text pro tutorial. Here the focus will be on how to create a simple text uh, document and uh, this is the right interface for this. This is one of two interfaces that you determine through the document type switch. So the other, uh, now it's in the note state and uh, switching it to the uh, book state is going to bring to display the other interface and um, how to use this is going to be the subject of the next uh, tutorial. Let's go back to Node and uh, before showing you how you can generate some text on this interface, a couple of words about the settings button. This is where you may want to, this is what you may want to click when you first install the app and uh, make sure that the correct language has been selected. And by correct I mean the one that you plan on using during your speech to text uh, sessions. If you're going to be using one language, then you just need to do this once and not have to keep checking back. But if you have more than one languages installed, like, uh, like I do, and plan on using more than one languages, then every time you are, before you uh, switch to another language, then make sure that that language is selected in this dropdown so that there, there is a match. And as for instructions on how to add a new language pack onto your Windows 10 system that so that it displays on this list here, uh, please watch the last uh, tutorial. So let's go back to uh, the note screen now and uh, let's generate some content. This is what a typical week looks like for me, ellipsis. Select last sentence, capitalize, Okay, I'm going to increase the font size and also change the selection color to, let's say, orange. On a typical Sunday, I want to relax and shake off the previous week and prepare myself for the upcoming week, period. Select Upcoming, Challenges of the Upcoming on Monday, I work from home, comma, usually from very early in the morning, 6 a.m., to early in the afternoon, 3.30 p.m., period. Round bracket, 6 a.m. Round bracket, 3.30 p.m. Select to. Undo. Select 6 a.m. Next. T-O. On Tuesday, comma, I write a blog post about the stock market, comma, and then I share it on social media, where I have about half a million followers, period. On Tuesday, comma, I go for a walk along the beach, comma, and then clean the house using ABC all-in-one floor cleaning, period. Select all-in-one. Undo. Select A, B, C. Next. Capitalize. On Thursday, comma, I wake up at 7 and do a 15-minute meditation, comma, and then I go for a 10-mile run, period. On Friday, comma, I usually go to the bank, period. And finally, comma, on Saturday, comma, I usually clean my house, comma, cook, comma, Take a shower and then go to a bar with my friends, period. Select rotation, previous one, do a 15 minute meditation, select 15 minute, hyphen, select 10 mile, hyphen, I'm full of excitement about the whole week, exclamation mark. Select first sentence, next one, line break. Even though the text came out pretty good, there were some imperfections. Uh, some of them were due to the uh, speech recognizer misinterpreting some words. And in other cases, it was just um, uh, me that I wanted to modify and improve the presentation of the, of the text. So 
what I did, and as I'm sure you noticed, was use a number of uh, voice commands, and uh, those can be accessed through the commands button. There's about 60 voice commands, and uh, these are going to be explained uh, in more detail in the next uh, tutorials, uh, after the tutorial on um, the book interface. So once you have the final draft of the note, there's a variety of things you can do with it. One is to uh, save it as a text file. You can also send it as an email, and uh, here you can type one or more email addresses uh, separated by comma, or you can simply uh, bring them over from your contacts list. Okay, and uh, here you can optionally type a subject, sorry, title, and optionally also attach files. Um, you know, let's just try these ones. And uh, once ready, just simply click send, and that is going to launch uh, Windows default email app. And from here, you can select one of the accounts and um, proceed with uh, sending that email. You can also copy the content onto the clipboard. This is what clicking this button does, and then paste it onto a, uh, an editor. And uh, finally, you can clear the content and prepare for the new note. Thanks for watching this tutorial, and uh, see, you in, see you in the next one.